My name is Kendra Zernofsky. Um, I was diagnosed with dyslexia in the second grade. Not only with dyslexia, but with a processing problem. So dyslexia is more of the spelling and reading comprehension, whereas um, a processing problem is more math related. We had her tested, um, I think it was Halloween actually, and then we got the results, I think in November, and then we finally had the meeting for the IEP probably, I think it was January. Um, it was a journey that she had to kind of go through and, and, get, and get tested. Um, once I was diagnosed, I went to uh, the resource room in the elementary school uh, probably for like an hour a day and we would just work on like reading skills and comprehension, which has definitely helped me today. We would do reading goals too, so I would have to like practice my fluency and um, I finally hit my fluency mark um, in seventh grade and that was a big achievement for me because in sixth grade I like sat down I really started to like enjoy books and um, spent more time reading which really helped my fluency and got me up to be like an average reader. One of the struggles that I had in at least elementary school is obviously like the difference between me and other kids were very it was very in your face because they would have like different baskets of reading levels and all of my friends um, who are really good students would pass me and I would be like the lowest level and that was like crushing um, so I would come home and I would cry to my mom and I would call myself dumb and stupid um, and she would tell me that I'm not dumb and I'm not stupid. It's just hard to talk about my struggle because my mom was like a big part of like who I've become today because she would always guide me throughout the way and tell me that I was more than what I think I am. She would uh, encourage me every day to like get up and get to school and like even though things were really really hard for me when I was younger she would always encourage me to get back up and keep trying I like you know if I own this then it's like it's not that big of a deal I kept it a secret for like a very long time I did not want anyone to know that I had dyslexia I think I was just tired of like people asking why of going to the resource room and stuff like that. So in high school, I was just more like open about it. Kendra's turning point with her um, schooling was high school. I know she was nervous about moving into ninth grade, but once she got through that ninth grade, she figured it out to see her kind of become a young woman, to advocate for herself, but she took control and that's what I liked about that experience. She kept going and each year got more and more. I think she got more and more confidence and as she got more confident she ended up taking on, you know, more uh, challenging classes. I thought I was dumb and I thought that I was not going to be successful in school. <laughs> And it's, it's not like that. If you, the more work you put in, the more you're going to get the results that you want. Here she is a senior heading into college, um, thinking back to when she was in elementary school. You know, there was a lot of things obviously going through your mind, like, you know, will she be able to go to college? Um, how, you know, I wanted her to be self-sufficient and advocate for herself. And all those things have come true. I've always said to her, it didn't matter about the letter grade, it just mattered as long as she didn't give up. And that's what I'm happy about. For the kids who have dyslexia or have um, any type of disability, just work harder. It will pay off, trust me.